In this video, we will follow a loop project from design phase to completed installation. First, we log on to the Univox Loop Designer and create a new project. The room dimensions for this room is 4.6 by 5.26 meters. The flooring is reinforced concrete, so we will choose that as our environment to simulate the appropriate metal loss effects in regards to attenuation and frequency response. Our aim is to have a loop system with minimum overspill. Therefore we are using the ultra low spill design preset. This design allows for approximately 1.5 meter wide segments, with stop segments at each end. By changing the orientation from X to Y, we can turn the cable layout 90 degrees. Always complete your changes by clicking on save, to upload to the server. We then continue down to the lower part of the ULD software and click on calculate to get a first look at our system performance. By adjusting the output current the field strength will be equally adjusted as the current output is directly proportional to the magnetic field strength. Once we are contented with the projected performance of the loop, we return to the results part, the data tab and again click on calculate. The designer software will now list all loop amplifiers that can be considered for the project. It will also tell us what the size of the loop is, the width of each segment and the length of wire needed for the installation. We can then download a PDF report to share with project partners and customers. The report includes cable layout, performance graphs and all the result details. Time for installation. First we mark on the floor where the cable will cross. We at Univox recommend double adhesive tape to tape down the copper wire to the floor. There are other methods and it is up to the installer to do as he or she feels comfortable. We recommend a 10 to 20 centimeters distance between the outer perimeter and the wall. This is to give the carpet installers room and avoid that the loop cable is accidentally cut. Then we start placing out our flat cable according to our cable layout design.
when done, gently hammer down the folster to flatten. We recommend using a rubber club to avoid damaging the insulation. Then, as a precaution we want to do a final check for cable damage. In this case we are using a twin core cable. So we want to check that the two cores are not short circuited. We do the same test between master and slave and also check each individual core that resistance seems reasonable. Usually between 0.5 ohm and 2.5 ohm. Then we press down the cable to make it flat against the floor. As a final touch we can add a protective cover tape over it. The tape protects against wear and tear. It will give some protection against cuts but foremost warn the carpet or flooring installer about the loop cable. The warning is printed in English, French, and German. The loop cable installation is now completed. Last step is to install the hearing loop amplifier. For this installation we are using twin core cable for a two turn loop. So we serial connect the two cores, here by clamping them together, but they can just as well be soldered. Double check for reasonable resistance to verify a good connection between cores. Then connect lead wires to the copper tape. Again we have used clamps but you may also solder. It is important to seal your connection with insulation tape to prevent short circuits. Now time for the loop amplifier. We can use the built-in system diagnostics which generates a 1 kHz pulsed tone to set appropriate field strength level. We connect our audio source and set sensitivity so that the zero decibels LED flashes in peaks. If the red plus 12 decibels LED flashes, you need to turn down sensitivity. Installation has now been completed and all that remains is system certification. We will cover that in a future video. Thank you for your attention.